Hi everyone, I'm Jamie Allen, and welcome to another bonus episode of Magicians Doing Tricks. Just great magicians doing what they do best. And let's kick it right off with the magician's magician, the one and only Mr. Wayne Fox. Hey Jamie, how's it going? You alright? Gonna show you a quick card trick if that's alright. Um, all the cards are different. I'm gonna get one... Tough crowd. Tough crowd. Okay, all right, all right. I'm going to randomly select a card here after a couple of cuts and we'll get the, there you go, King of uh, King of Hearts. Okay, I'm going to leave that there. I've got to try and find its sister card, the King of Diamonds. Okay, now I'm not going to do that by looking through, but just by touch, 15th down. Yeah, King of Diamonds. It doesn't stay that way for long because there's only two others to find. So I just blow and it turns into the King of Spades. Once it turns into the King of Spades, it's momentarily, it turns back into the King of Diamonds. The King of Spades is the one that I keep as a spare in my pocket over here, just in case. It's always the King of Spades. And the King of Clubs is an odd one. I keep it here in an optical illusion part of my hand, and I just rub my hand on that part of the table, and it materialises out of nowhere, that last card. All four kings. <laughs> And now, welcome to Magicians Doing Tricks, direct from our house, the fabulous Natalia Love. Hello, Jamie, it's me, but you know that because you're sitting right there. Next, we've got Stephen Williams Jr. who's going to show you a magic trick that will happen to you right through your screens. Take it away, Stephen. Thanks, Jamie. Hello, everybody. I'm Stephen Williams Jr. And I'm back with another magic trick that will happen to you watching at home. Now, I have five different playing cards, and I'd like you to think about one of these cards. Now, it's entirely up to you have a look at them all and think about any one of these cards and remember it now i'm going to try to work out what card you're thinking of through the screen so concentrate on it okay i think this is what you have in mind so if this has worked your card should now have gone if it has, and I've taken your card away, we would love 
to know. So click the like button below so we know the magic has worked for you. And also share this video with your friends and family to see if it works for them as well. So that is all from me. Thanks again for having me, Jamie. And it's back to you in the studio. Now, around the world at the moment, there's this big problem with people trying to get hold of groceries. I want to help. I'm working with technology to try and solve this problem using an application which I've developed, which is called Instant Food. Now with this application, no social distancing, no two meter distance, you can get anything that you want straight away. Check this out. I just hope that you like pineapple. At the moment, it only works with pineapple. I am working out the bugs. But anyway, download Instant Food now. Let me show you something that isn't exactly magic, but it is very magical. All the way from Spain, here is the wonderful Ma Tilda. I love collecting Tenyo magic. I mentioned this in the last show, and these shelves behind me are stacked full of this stuff. And here's a little clip of one of my favorites that I recorded earlier. This is called The President's Cabinet. Check this out, it's ingenious. <laughs> And to round off the show today, I want to hand over to my co-host from iMagician Live, the fantastic Adam 
Happen Store. Hi. I'd like to show you a little something, but, um, but first I need you to pick a card. Now, I've got my deck of cards just here, and I want you to, as I flick through the deck, I want you to pick a card, a card that you see, a card that stands out. Um, obviously, not that one, that would be too easy. So, here we go, watch carefully, and... Okay. Now, remember that card. Remember the card that stood out to you. Um, I'm going to get my empty bag. Just here. Empty, see? Nothing inside. Now, if I put the cards in the bag like so, I just hold them up inside this bag. And this is called handler shuffling. I'm mixing the cards up without touching the card. So I don't know where your card is, but remember that card you just thought of. Now, I'm going to try and find your card, and this is where it gets a little bit dangerous. Ooh. Okay, here we go. I've got it. Is that your card? Pretty cool, though. But the clever thing is, you're not actually finding the card. The cleverest thing about this trick is to actually find your card, but without actually damaging my drink. Cheers. Thank you for joining us, everyone. I hope you had fun. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to join us this Friday for I Magician Live with Noel Britton, president of the Magic Circle, and also the fantastic magic legend himself, Mr. Kevin James. We'll see you on Friday, 7 o'clock GMT. Thanks for joining. I am going to pull. Right, I think he... Over there. Feel a hand, please. Feel a tummy. Come around this way, come around here. That's Robert Harbin. Now Robert Harbin created the famous zigzag lady illusion. I'm sure many of you have seen that trick in your lives. But it's one of the most important illusions in the entire history of magic. Because the night that he premiered that, he did something most magicians never do in their whole lives. He fooled every magician on the planet. Because he had created a new principle. That doesn't happen very often and it spawned generations and generations of new ideas. Do you know my best ever Christmas? It was when I was 10 years old and my mum and dad bought me one. That wasn't it. But that's how I remember it in my dream. And I always wanted to find a new way to present this illusion to a modern audience. And we came up with the lady in the puzzle. Now Natalie has a special magic box and every magic show needs at least one of these. And we're gonna show you all the way around it. And you'll notice we're going to bring it all the way down to the very front of the stage, as close as it possibly can be, so you can see under and around it at all times. And Natalie's going to step inside of here for us. And in a moment, she's going to disappear. Little by little. Now, just like Robert Harbin's famous illusion, the zigzag lady, we have these little ladies go in and divide the cabinet up into three pieces. One up the top, one down at the bottom. But that's not all, because I said she was going to disappear, and she will do. One piece. Is mine. You don't fool.